Here we are. We're at Highline, one of the most popular tourist attractions yes. in all of New York. Why? As we marvel at the latest multi-million dollar condos built by any 21st century architect who's anybody, let's please take notice of all the public housing and subsidized housing that's up and down Ninth Avenue. I know it's easy to ignore, but it's there. Uh -huh. It's about 10, 12 stories high, 15 stories well, high. It's, it's it was all public built. housing. That yes, was it was built housing. when? 60s? 50s. 50s? Okay, good. I want, you know, you live in the neighborhood, you know, you know what it is. It goes all the way up. <coughs> Labor unions build it, and, and, and the majority of people here in Chelsea, and also what they call Pennsylvania South, they actually live there, all the way up. You'll see it. Penn um, South, you mean on 7th Avenue and 28th Street? It goes up. 8th Avenue and 28th Street. Yeah. It goes up, it goes yeah. up. Um, it's, it goes it's, up to it's Lincoln easy Center. to ignore. Lincoln Center, past yeah. like behind Lincoln Center. It goes all the way up. They, oh, those are all the one same. One thing I always like yeah. to say is, like, you know, like in the 40s and 50s, they moved all the poor people to the rivers. Yeah. Because the rivers crazy. were all polluted. Yeah. Now today, guess what? All the rich people went to rivers. So, the, but I'm glad that this kind of how this this uh, affordable housing is still by, and and inside affordable housing, you will find working poor people. You also find there are descendants of people who were who lived here. There are descendants of people who worked and lived and died here. Uh, goes back up probably a hundred years or so. Their, their roots. Um, you probably won't find that many Bohemians in that, and because Bohemians, you know, somehow affordable living in New York is somewhat like being trapped here. I know that's a deep thought. What do you think, Walter? It's very historical. It, it 
fits the mark of the, you know, the footprint of New York because the first prison after the American Revolution was Newgate, right outside of um, Christopher Street. And before that time, they used to kind of execute and maim criminals. Maim? Maim. You know, like you, you stole something, you got your hands chopped off. But now it's the American Revolution, so they wanted, they were enlightened, they wanted to kind of reform these poor souls. So they built this prison. 